Hello and welcome to How to Play Euchre. There are different variations to Euchre. In this video, we will cover how to play with four players divided into two teams. In four-player Euchre, teammates will sit across from each other. Here, Katie and Wayne are a team, and Dan and Daryl are on a team. To play Euchre, you will need the Aces, Kings, Queens, Jacks, Tens, and Nines from a 52-card deck. The 24 card deck is shuffled by the dealer. The dealer will then deal 5 cards to each player in sets of 3 or 2 cards at a time. The remaining cards are set down next to the dealer and the top card is flipped up for everyone to see. The object of Euchre is to score points. Points are scored by taking at least 3 out of 5 tricks in a round. During game play, tricks are created by each player playing a card into the middle. The player who played the highest ranking card wins the trick. The cards start by being ranked with the aces being the highest down to the nines being the lowest until a trump suit is determined. Each round, one of the four suits will be named trump suit for the round. This means that any trump suit will outrank any other suited card for the round. Also, the card rank for the trump suit will change slightly. For example, let's say that spades is the trump suit for this round. The jack of spades becomes the highest ranking trump suit, and the jack of clubs becomes the second highest ranking trump suit. These two cards are known as the right bower and the left bower. The right bower being the jack of trump suit, the left bower being the jack with the suit of the same color as the trump suit. So, the black jacks are linked together and the red jacks are linked together. When spades are trump, the jack of clubs is considered a trump suited card. For this trick, when spades are trump, the jack of spades takes the trick as the highest ranking card in the trick. For this trick, when spades are trump, the nine of spades takes this trick as the highest ranking card in the trick because all trump suited cards outrank all other suited cards. After the cards are dealt and before the tricks are played, the trump suit needs to be determined for the round. The suit of the card that was flipped up during the deal is the first option for the trump suit. In this round, the first option of trump is hearts. The player left of the dealer has the first option to call hearts as the trump suit or can pass. By calling hearts as the trump suit, the player is saying that their team can win at least three out of five of the tricks during the round. If the player passes on calling the trump suit, the option moves left to the next player. During the trump bidding, there are two different scenarios. A player can call the flipped up card as the trump suit, or all players will pass on the first flipped up card. If the flipped card is called as trump by any player, the dealer will pick up the flipped up card and place it in their hand. Then the dealer will discard any card from their hand face down. The second scenario happens if all players pass on the flipped up card being trump. In this case, the dealer will turn down the flipped up card and the option to name the trump suit returns to the player left of the dealer. Now the player can call in any trump suit other than the suit of the card that was flipped down. So, Katie can now call in diamonds, clubs, or spades as the trump suit, or can pass again. If Katie passes, the option to call trump moves left to Daryl. Once a player calls a trump, the trump suit is set and the gameplay begins. I have reset the deal and have flipped up each player's cards for you to see. In an actual game, you will keep your cards hidden from the other players. Dan has dealt, which gives Katie the option to call hearts as trump first. Katie chooses to pass. The option moves left to Daryl. Daryl also chooses to pass. The option moves to Wayne, who decides to pass. The option moves to the dealer, Dan. Dan decides to pass and turns the flipped up card down. The option returns to Katie, who can name diamonds, clubs, or spades as trump, or can pass. Katie chooses to pass again. The option moves back to Daryl, who will name diamonds as the trump suit for the round. The trump is now set as diamonds, which makes the jack of diamonds the highest ranking card for the round. And the jack of hearts becomes part of the trump suit 
as the second highest ranking card. The player left of the dealer leads the first card to the first trick. Katie leads the Ace of Spades. Play moves left to Daryl. Players must play a card in the same suit of the card that was led, if possible. Daryl follows the lead suit by playing the Nine of Spades. Play moves to Wayne, who does not have a spade to follow suit. If a player cannot follow the lead suit, they can play any card. Wayne plays the Ten of Hearts. Play moves to Dan, who follows the lead suit by playing the Jack of Spades. The player that plays the highest ranking trump suited card wins the trick. If no trump suited card is played, the player who played the highest ranking card in the lead suit wins the trick. Katie wins this trick with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. The player that wins the trick will lead the next trick. Katie leads the next trick with the Ace of Hearts. Daryl cannot follow the lead suit and plays the trump suited Ten of Diamonds. Wayne also cannot follow the lead suit and plays the trump suited Jack of Hearts, which is the left bower for this round. Dan has to follow the lead suit and plays the Nine of Hearts. Wayne wins this trick with the highest ranking trump suited card. Wayne leads the next trick with the Jack of Clubs and the rest of the round goes as follows. At the end of a round, points are awarded. If the team that called Trump took three or four tricks, they are awarded one point. Here, Daryl called Trump and his team won three tricks. Daryl and Dan are awarded one point. If the team that called Trumps wins all five tricks, they are awarded two points. If the team that did not call in the Trumps wins three or more tricks, they are awarded two points. This is known as a euchre. Next, we will cover some specific rules for euchre, but first let me tell you about Thrive Market. We all know that playing cards and snacking go hand in hand, and Thrive Market is here to supply you with some exceptional snacks for your next game night. At Thrive, you can get your favorite organic and non-GMO products at wholesale prices delivered straight to your door. And Thrive members save an average of $32 per grocery order. Some of my favorite snacks on game night are the dry roasted cashews, snack mixes, and organic popcorn. You can sign up to Thrive Market using the affiliate link in the description below. And by doing so, you'll get 30% off your first order and a free gift, all while supporting the Gather Together Games channel. In Euchre, players have the option of going alone. This means that a player will play the round without the help of their partner. After a player calls in the trump suit, they can announce going alone. Their partner will then place their hand down. The alone player will play against the two opponents. If the player going alone wins all five tricks, their team is awarded four points. If the going alone player wins three or four tricks, their team is still awarded one point. If the opponents win three or more tricks, they get the euchre and are awarded two points. The first team to 10 points wins the game. The score can be kept with pen and paper or by using cards. To use cards, each team will need two cards that add up to 10. For each point scored, the team will show a suit symbol on the scoring cards to indicate their score. Euchre can take some getting used to, especially with card ranks changing each round. I have put together a Euchre Quick Guide to help you learn as you play. This guide highlights all the important things you need to remember while playing a game of Euchre. You can find it on the Euchre page of the Gather Together Games website, which is linked to in this video's description. You can also find some additional Euchre information, like how to play with a different number of players, some strategy tips, and some common house rules you may want to add to your game. Euchre is one of my go-to card games when I'm gathering together with family or friends, and I hope you will give it a try soon. It is a great game to play while connecting to the ones you care about.
If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like to help support the channel. And don't forget to check out Thrive Market when you're stocking up for snacks for your next game night. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.